When I'm learning a language, there's nothing worse than really wanting to speak that language only to have that person respond back to me in English. And then sometimes, no matter how much you insist and say, it's okay, I speak your language. Put Thai Dai, Bisong Long Bahasa Indonesia, whatever the language is you're learning, and they just persist in responding in English. So my number one goal is to see how can I speak a language that's going to get them speaking their language back to me. But then you get the next most frustrating thing, and that is that people will speak a foreigner version of their language back to you. Now, if I'm learning a language, I want to learn the real language, the language that's really spoken amongst those people that speak the language, not a foreigner version. And a lot of learners of different languages, whether it's Thai, Chinese, Indonesian, Vietnamese, Spanish, Italian, Danish, whatever it is that you're learning, you want to be able to speak the way that they speak, and your ears might not be tuned in to hear that actually they're not speaking the real language back to you. So this clip, I'm going to be focusing on Thai, but I'd like to do a series on all different languages, how you can tell fake versions of that language or foreigner versions. The reason why this is important is because I will use this as a gauge as to how good my language is getting. If I find that I'm receiving these foreigner or fake language tells being sent back to me, I know that there's something I need to tweak in the delivery. Maybe it's the way I'm dressed even. Maybe it's the mannerisms that I'm doing. But there's something that is triggering this foreign version of the language. And it's not just the language itself. We're not looking for perfection in the language. And I've seen time and time again that you don't have to speak the language perfectly to get normal language back to you, but you need to take away the smell of beginner or tourist away from them so that you'll start to get these authentic specimens of the language back. The less fake or foreigner language that I'm getting back, the more I know that I'm improving in that language. So today we're going to be focusing on Thai. Now make sure you watch to the end because it's one thing to know the tells, but it's another thing then, well, how do I counter these? You're telling me what to look out for, but how do I actually change it around? So I'll give you some techniques that you can do that will elicit more natural language from them. Number one, sir, sir, mister, mister, yes, madame. As soon as I hear these words, now there are some, if you're in Bangkok, there are some notorious places. For example, Central, Emporium, these big department stores, they're even trained. As soon as they see a Western face, sir, 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 and this wall goes up. As soon as you hear these terms, you know that you have the foreigner wall gone up. And often it's futile to go in and speak Thai to these people. Uh, there's one way that you can nip this in the bud that I will tell you at the end, but Basically, if you are approached and somebody has used sir, madame, it's going to be an uphill struggle to try and get the native language back to you. Even if they do speak Thai back to you, it's always going to be tainted with this foreigner version. So that's one tell. Number two, and it's in the same kind of theme, the way that they call you. If you have somebody, one, call you, 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 hey, you, hey, you you know straight away that the foreigner wall is up. But there's something a little more subtle, but it's a huge tell. If you are actually speaking Thai fluently with somebody, but instead of uh, them using the normal pronoun that they would use amongst Thais, could you just pick that up for me? So that's normal. I said P, if I'm talking to somebody younger than me, could you pick that up for me? I address myself as P, older brother, which is very normal when you're talking to somebody younger than you. but I would use the pronoun that they would be using with each other and you have to use it in a natural way. If you used it with unnatural rhythms, it would just sound weird and they would go back. You will find that some people would say, you chui yip hei ai. They will use you and I smattered into their tie. Now there are some ties that will actually use you and I in their tie. Maybe it's some way to pull themselves out of the hierarchy of Thai pronouns, or maybe they're trying to give themselves an international flavor uh, when speaking amongst themselves, but it does sound unnatural. And if you find that Thais are using you, give it to I, hey, I know, um, you know that you're getting the foreigner version of the language. And my goal is how can I get them to use normal pronouns with me and just feel comfortable with it and not use you and I? So if you hear the English words, you and I, 
you know that you are getting foreigner tie. Now, number three, if you saw that clip where I did the analysis on Paddy's tie, Paddy went in there and his fluency is great. Uh, he would use these words, okay, 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 very often. If you speak with a Thai person, and especially say on the street, maybe a taxi driver or you're going into a shop and you start speaking, they'll say, okay, 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 okay. They have gone into foreigner gear. They're in foreigner mode and it's going to be very, very tough to get them out of that gear. When Thais are speaking, they will very rarely use, okay, okay, okay. Maybe one, okay, nai kap, but not okay, 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 okay. They would normally say kap kap. Another word that you will see written in subtitles is tok long, but tok long literally means to have come to an agreement. It's not something that you would normally say, like we would say in English. Oh, okay. And in Thai, it's definitely not natural to hear okay, 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 okay. This is a huge tell that you're getting falang version of Thai, not natural Thai. Number four, if anybody calls out to you, where you go, where you go, where you go, stay far, far away. Not only are they going to perceive you as a foreigner, and you're a target probably, probably it's some kind of tourism scam. If it's a taxi, they're probably going to overcharge you. So as soon as you hear this, where you go, where you go, um, just walk away. Highs, supposing you are getting in a taxi or you are going to get on a motorcycle, normally you would actually say where you're going. Just as you're getting on the motorcycle or getting in the taxi, you don't have to wait for them to say where you go. So if it was actually in normal Thai and they're asking where you're going, they would say, and you just tell them and that would be it. But as soon as they say, where you go, where you go, you know that they have this falang or foreigner block up and you're probably going to have the foreigner filters and it's going to be an uphill battle trying to get them back into speaking normal Thai with you. The last one, this is probably the most insidious one and probably the hardest to catch. This is when Thais will actually speak Thai back to you and it could be normal Thai, but they say it with off tones or say it with falang prosody. So basically, it's the equivalent of walking up to somebody, you see them having an Asian face and say, Oh, hello, how are you? What do you think you want to go today? If somebody did that to you in the West, they'd probably get a smack. But in Thailand, I see this happening all the time. You see foreigners go up again, motorcycle taxis, even assistants in shops. They will speak the Thai back, but it's like responding in this foreigner version, literally a foreigner version of Thai, almost taking the piss out of them. So for example, they'll say, Sweetie Kap, Sweetie Kap, Kop Kun Kap. If you notice these tones on simple words like, Sawadi Kap, Sawadi Kap, but they say, Sawadi Kap run. They're not being genuine with you and you are not going to get a natural Thai dialogue. There's one case and it's actually pretty funny, but it's a good example of this. We have a soy just around the corner from us and it's very famous because it parallels with Tanun, with Hiyu Wireless Road, where the American Embassy, Australian Embassy, all these big embassies are. And so a lot of Westerners live in this little soy next to it. That soy is called soy lomledi. The way they spell it in English is R-U-A-M-R-U-D-E-E. -E. So if you say Romludi according to the spelling, it sounds like Romludi, Romludi. And so you get these foreigners thinking that they're speaking Thai and, and where are you going? Romludi. And you see all the motorcycle drivers saying, Oh, by nai kap, by nai kap. Saying it in this foreigner version of Thai instead of by nai kap, by nai kap. Like, say it again, say it again. Rum Rudi, Rum Rudi. Now, what does that mean? Rum means all in together, everybody in together. Ru, Ru is a whole. D, good. So the connotation that could be drawn from Rum Rudi is basically everybody in for a gangbang in their hole. Bit harsh, but you can understand why they're all sort of snickering, say, say it again, say it again. And they will speak Thai, but they're just doing it to take the mickey and draw that out and have a good laugh at your expense. So the correct way to say it is Rum Rudi, Rudi, Rudi. This is a fantastic reason to learn to read Thai and learn to pronounce it correctly and don't have those filters from Roman letters. Just learn how to pronounce it straight from the Thai and you will avert many of these mistakes. The way to get around this is take preemptive measures. So I mentioned this in some other clips. Maybe if you're in 7-Eleven, you say, you don't need to put it in the plastic bag. As soon as you send that signal, bang, they go into Thai mode. Maybe they're not looking at your face and they'll be in Thai mode and they look up and they're shocked. Okay, you speak Thai and they'll speak to you normally. Another one might be, 
Nong, could you please grab this for me? But you're using the pronouns that they would use. Nong, younger brother or sister, Choi Yip, hey Pinoy. Could you grab that for me? Now, this is something that happens very normally in Thai, but Thais will always tell foreigners, oh no, don't speak that. You need to use the words kun and pom and di chan. But Thais actually won't use it in normal speech with themselves. They'll always look at the situation and choose the pronoun that feels most natural to them. So the way to get around foreigner version of the language is to nip it in the bud and take preemptive measures in throwing natural sounding Thai. So you might want to practice a bunch of sentences just to get them sounding natural in the natural rhythm. And then you can use that to send those signals and then that will come back. The way you dress plays a role too. So have a look what uh, people are wearing on the street. For example, ties, you don't see a lot of ties wearing sunglasses around. You don't see them wearing guys wearing like singlets or tank tops around. So if you are dressed like that, it's going to be sending these foreigner, foreigner signals out. So you might want to think of dressing more like the people on the ground there so that those other signals don't trigger them to speak foreigner or fake Thai back to you. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you really like this, jump into Minecraft Discord server. You can scan the QR code up top. So I actually have a channel in there that's dedicated to people suggesting topics and things that you'd like me to talk about. So jump in there. Let's have a discussion. And if you're really serious about learning the language, language, not like a foreigner, but you really want to take it seriously, come and register in Minecraft. We have some amazing people in there that are experiencing amazing wins with their language, and I'd like you to be part of that too. So come and register for Minecraft, scan the QR code up top, come into the Discord server. The Discord server is free to come and join, and I'll see you on the other side.